Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a little bag. This is a cell phone bag, like a crossbody bag. Um, you can put other things in it. It's great for carrying tiny things that you need. Um, it has two pockets, so there's a front pocket like this to put things in. And then there is a top pocket. And my phone is right here. It has clips with the strap so you can take them off and change the strap and um, you can use lots of fun fabrics. So this bag uses quilting cotton and interfacing. It is fully lined so you only have to use a sewing machine. It does have two zippers so you um, can practice doing zippers to make this fun bag. I did create a free pattern for this bag which you can find the link in the description. There will be a free pattern that just has the pattern or you can purchase um, the pattern and the instructions and you can find that all in the link in the description. I am so excited to use this all summer when we're out doing activities and I just need something little to carry things with me but I don't have to bring a whole um, purse or backpack. These would make great gifts. Um, they are a little bit they're not hard, they just take a little bit of time because you do have to do two different zippers, which zippers, you know, take a little bit of time. So let's get started. For this project, you will need quilting cotton for both the outer fabric and the lining fabric. You will need two zippers that are eight inches long. Both of them will be cut down once we start using them. You will need some fusible interfacing. I'm going to cut everything out with a rotary cutter and a cutting mat. You will need the free pattern, which you can get um, from the link in the description. And then I am going to use these swivel hooks and D-rings for the um, bag. So the little D-rings are going to be attached to the bag and then the um, <clears throat> swivel hooks, like these lobster clasps, will be on the strap so that you can remove it if you want or change the strap whenever you need to change the strap. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut out all of the pieces as the pattern pieces instruct. Now I'm going to fuse all of these interfacing pieces to the wrong side of the outer fabric. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your front pieces. So these are the outer front pieces and these are the lining front pieces. And we are going to um, sew it, sew these pieces to the zipper. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail for the zipper because I have other videos that teach you how to sew a zipper, but it's essentially you're going to put this piece here with this piece in the back and sandwich the zipper in the middle and then sew with the zipper foot right here and then flip it out like this and do a top stitch and then we're going to do the same on the other side of the zipper to get the other pieces on. Um, you have to move the zipper as you're sewing um, with the zipper foot and make sure you don't accidentally, when we're sewing, we want the zipper pull, we don't want it to like be cut off or lost or something. You want it to stay on and kind of stay in the middle when we are done. Now make sure your zipper pull is in the center and you can go and do a basting stitch along each side and that's so that the zipper will stay in the, the zipper pull will stay in the middle. You don't want it to go off either side and then you can trim the zipper like this. Then we are going to prepare the other zipper and this one um, it's going to have tabs on the end so you can get the zipper guide and um, the zipper is going to be between these 
two marks where the dotted line is, but this is where you want to cut the zipper. So make sure when you cut it that your pole is in the middle because you don't want to cut it off. And then I'm going to cut the zipper Now you're going to take your zipper tabs and um, you're going to place it on top like this and this and then sew at half an inch seam allowance across so that this will cover, <clears throat> like it will hold it in place across the zipper and just go slowly um, when you sew through the zipper. take these tabs and you're going to fold the raw edge in like this and then fold it again and you are going to sew across the top to secure this back piece and do the same to the other side. Now you have your zipper finished with the tabs on each side and then you have your outer pieces um, that has like your outer fabric and one has the zipper and then you have your two lining pieces and you have to have two lining pieces so that this will have a separate pocket than this pocket. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail for the zipper because it's you know, you sandwich the zipper between the outer fabric and the lining fabric and you sew across with a um, zipper sewing machine foot. Then you flip this out like this and top iron and then top stitch in place and we're going to do that to both pieces. So you're going to tape, take your um, loop pieces, you're going to fold it in half and you can do this with an iron or you can just finger press it. So I fold it in half and then have the two ends come into me in the middle and then fold it again like this and then sew down each side and that will become the loop. So you're going to take these two loops and sew down each side to close that and to you know give a little bit of top stitching detail and then you're going to do the same with the strap where you fold it in half first and create that um, fold and then you fold the two sides into the middle like this and then fold it all together and sew down each side Now all the zippers are in place and we just have the loops and the strap to do. So get out your clasps and D-rings. Now this pack came with three, but um, I'm only going to use two of them. So I'm going to put one to the side. So these two loops you're going to put them around a D-ring like this and they are nice and tiny and we're going to baste it to the front piece so you want to separate the lining and that's the lining of like the big inner pocket it's not this lining and you are going to this is going to be the very top of the bag so you want to put it close to the top but not like have it in the way of the zipper. So this is half an inch from the top 
and I'm going to clip it, but when I sew it, I probably have to hold it by hand because it's too thick to use a pin and the clip will just get in the way. So let's do the other one. So baste these in place. Now you're going to take your straps and put it on to see if you like how long they are, if you want to shorten them. And then you're going to put the strap through, fold it over once to like enclose the raw edge and then fold it over half an inch. So it's just kind of rolled up like this and then we're gonna sew. I'm gonna sew several times across to make that really strong and we're gonna do the same to this side with this strap. Now we are going to sew the bag together. So what I like to do is I take the two front pieces and this now counts as a front piece and the two lining pieces and you're going to like match up all of the corners and edges and pin or clip them all together Now you can see it feels weird with the zipper right there in the middle that makes it stand up. And because we have this nice tab that will help. So you want to fold, you want to fold the tab towards the front. So I kind of fold it like that. And then do the same on the other side. So now we're going to sew around this whole rectangle. Make sure on the lining that you leave like a two or three inch hole to turn everything right side out. I'm gonna come down the corner and pivot and sew a little bit across the bottom on both sides to make it easier to close in the end. Now take some scissors and we are going to trim the corners. Now you're going to turn the bag right side out carefully through this hole. Now the, you've got to poke out these corners down here. And I'm not going to poke out these corners because they're going to get pushed inside. But what you're going to do, I guess you do have to poke it out slightly with your finger because you're going to fold these raw edges in like this and pinch that and then sew a top stitch right across so you can close that hole. Now you can take this lining and push it down inside, pull out these corners where the, um, like the loops are. So you can see it's a little tight for my hand. My hand can fit in, but it's not for carrying lots of things. 
And once that's done, and you take your strap and clip it on, and your bag is now finished. And that's how you make a cell phone bag. Um, it was so fun to make this bag. I actually really enjoy it. I love this fabric. I'm so excited to use it. I can't wait to see all of the cell phone bags that you make. Please share them with me on social media. Check out these playlists with zipper sewing projects and beginner sewing projects. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.